Hi everyone, I am here to bring you my long-awaited, by me, um, spring and summer collective haul of makeup products, mostly, yeah, all makeup products, some nail products, um, but I am here to bring you my, all of my spring and summer shopping, uh, as far as makeup goes, I have been shopping, taking advantage of sales, sometimes just buying random things, um, <clears throat> but I've been saving it and I have not had a lot of time to sit down and do individual hauls, so I wanted to do it as one big one. Anyway, so let me get started. Um, I am a big Ulta shopper um, in store and online, but mostly online because there's not an Ulta really near me. I have to travel like at least an hour um, to get to Ulta. So I'm definitely more of an Ulta online shopper, but um, I try to take advantage of as many of their deals as I possibly can. And so I have, <laughs> believe me. Um, so let's get started. Uh, I had my eye on a specific palette from Lorac, and it was the Afterglow palette. It was the Ulta exclusive palette that they did for spring. And these are their just regular formulation eyeshadows. Um, there's some really unique colors in here, and I was like, oh, I have to get my hands on this. And then once I did, I have really been liking uh, Lorac products um, in general. And um, in that order, I also picked up something else from them. That's what I was looking for just then. <laughs> um, but I got one of their Alter Ego Cream Lipsticks. I'm wearing the shade right now. It is in the shade Supermodel. I love this. It's one of my favorite purchases that I made. Um, it's, I love the cream finish of these lipsticks. They are very long lasting. And I really just happen to particularly like this shade. But, um, so I'm really digging their products. Um, this was my first Lorac purchase, like I said. And it has just gone crazy from there. Let me tell you, there's a lot of Lorac in this haul. Sorry, I'm going to toss stuff over here when I'm done talking about it so I can keep myself organized. Um, so also when I ordered those couple of things, I picked up, um, this it is the Lemonade from Benefit, and it is a um, concealer, a color correcting one. It is the yellow. I like to use it for my under eye circles because my under eye circles are crazy, and um, this really helps to kind of be a base, and then I just put other concealer over it, and um, it it works out great for me. I really, really like it. So definitely um, a good product there. I love Benefit. And sticking with Benefit, I made a different purchase um, another time with Ulta, and I got some brow stuff. Um, <clears throat> I like Benefit's brow stuff. My favorite thing is the Speed Brow, and um, it's just a brow gel. It's a quick set, and it dries really fast, and it has a, like a neutral kind of um, color, uh, and it just basically just holds my eyebrows into place. Um, and uh, the Gimme Brow uh, is one everyone usually talks about. Now, I've purchased this twice. The first time, I got the lighter color, and it was not the right color for me. Um, it's hard to tell online, as you know, um, what the ex actual color that you're getting is. And it just made my, eye my eyelashes, my eyebrows look um, gray almost. It was such a wrong color for me. And... Um, so I went ahead and got a different one and to go ahead and give this a try um, to see if it was just the color issue that I didn't like or if it was the product. Turns out it's really the product. I'm not crazy about the Gimme Brow. It has a weird smell to me. Um, this has, the Speed Brow has absolutely no smell. Also, this is, this one's darker. I couldn't match the, the lighter color to my brows. And this one, if I'm in a hurry, it can get messy and, um, it's just, the, I don't like the shape of the brush. It smells funny. It smells like feet or something. It's kind of gross. And I can smell it after a while still because, you know, it's on my face. And I don't really dig that very much. So I've given this a lot of chances, the Gimme Brow. Um, I've had this for a few months and I've been using it off and on. This is my everyday. The Speed Brow is kind of like my everyday thing. But when I was going for something special, I would do the Gimme Brow. And I just am not impressed, to be honest. It's like... Five dollars more, I think, or four or five dollars more than the Speed Brow, and I really like this product a lot better. So, I think that in the future I will definitely stick with the Speed Brow. But it is my favorite brow gel. I really do like it. Um, so anyway, I got these because I just really needed to repurchase this, and um, like I said, I wanted to give this a fair shot. I did, didn't work out. Sorry. <laughs> and but with those, I got a free gift um, from Benefit. 
And this is the Glambury little four um, piece deluxe sample gift. But with that order, there was like a free gift with any online purchase that they were doing that day, which I was really excited about because it was really cool. These were all full size um, products from NYX. And they came in this little lace bag, and it says NYX on the side, which I thought was kind of a nice touch. Um, but this was a deluxe gift. Or not a deluxe gift. Um, what? It was a free gift with purchase. And it, all of this is full-size NYX stuff. There's a mosaic blush in here, a mosaic powder. I like that. It's kind of, it's a little, there's red in there, so it really um, is a dark blush. But um, it's nice. I do like it. Um, I like, I like most of their products. There's this Fly With Me Mascara. Ah, that is the only thing in here that I haven't tried. Um, so I, I can't speak to this, but, um, it's another mascara to try. And then there was a full size soft matte lip cream in the, uh, shade Istanbul. And this was my first time to get to try these. I ended up liking this so much that I picked up some more that I will show you in just a minute. Um, but the, this was a really great product. I liked it a lot. So um, there was one of these I got to try out. And um, there was also this Love in Paris um, eyeshadow palette in Let Them Eat Cake is the name of the palette. And I have really been enjoying this. So all of that was free with just that benefit purchase that had a free gift too. So like, I was all about that. So that, that was just a bonus score for me. Awesome. And with that... Um, I believe part of that same, no, this was, might have been a different one. I don't know. Anyway, um, I made so many orders. I've lost track. That's a little sad. But I finally picked up a couple of um, Butter London uh, nail polishes. This one I have been crazy about. It is called Snog, and it's this bright, bright pink color. As you can see, it is perfect for toes, and I've been wearing it on my toes constantly this summer. This other one is called River, and it is like a mint kind of greenish, bluish color. I'm throwing stuff on the ground some more. That's always fun. And so I picked up a couple of these because there was a free gift with purchase that I had looked at in store. I'm like, no, maybe not today. And then one day I was in the mood to try these. So um, I picked up a couple and I got this little um, clutch with the purchase, which was nice. And it's perfect. Um, for brushes and stuff I've been carrying. There's makeup in it right now. I've been um, carrying my a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff in it. So that was um, my first Butter London purchase, but um, I really do like both of these. I, a bit, I've been very happy with it, especially this one. I've used it constantly. So that was really cool. And then I got some more. <clears throat> I got this little set also from Ulta and from Butter London. Um, it is the flash pack and I guess that's what it's called and it has five colors in it and it's funny because I saw this in store one day they had these up by the register <clears throat> trying to trick you into one of those impulse purchases because I saw this and I was like oh, pretty and I was like I need that I want and I picked it up and it's like $35 and I was like are you insane these aren't full size these are just like I don't know what you call them. They're like minis, I guess. Um, so I was like, no, $35 for this. No, too much. But one day I happened to be watching, uh, or I get the emails from Ulta, like I said, or didn't say, I can't remember. Um, and they had this for half price. It was $17.50. That for me was worth it just because the colors literally took my breath away. Like in the store, I went, <gasps> <laughs> and so that was, um, a, if something makes me do that, then I kind of need it. But, um, so for half price, I definitely could justify it. And I've really liked these. This one is like, um, a clear, almost like, uh, just this neutral color, but it's an iridescent and it's very beautiful. I need to paint it over some white, maybe another time. And, um, I've actually used quite a few of these colors and I really, really like them. They're so pretty. So, um, I'm really glad that I happened to pay attention and see that this was like a one day sale they were having on these. Awesome. So I was really happy to pick that up. Okay. So also from Ulta, um, I picked this up at the beginning of summer and this was my only purchase where I was kind of like later, I was like, what? Like I almost, it's like a, almost a regret purchase. Cause I was like, what? 
it was a little much for something um, that was just completely random. But they have this little set. Um, they usually put a set out every season, I think. Um, but this was their Summer Glam Beauty Essentials set. And when I saw it, there was a lot of things, a lot of brands and a lot of things that I wanted to try in here. So that's why I ended up like seeing this and going, ooh, I want. Later, I was kind of like, what? But <laughs> whatever. Um, so in here we have, and I think I've tried a lot of this stuff. Anyway, in here we have... Um, another nail polish from Butter London in snog. I did not realize, well, when I bought this, I saw that this was the shade in here, but when I had bought the um, full size of this color, I was like, really? All the colors in the rainbow, and I ended up choosing that one. So now I have two of this, so I may just give this away um, to someone eventually, because I haven't opened it or anything. And um, it's a little mini size of it or I'll just keep it because I really really love that color and I'm not even kidding you so um, I haven't decided exactly what I'm doing with that yet but I have two of those so that was a really weird purchase <laughs> like I said this is so random for me but whatever um this was the product I really 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 ow <laughs> I really wanted to try um and it is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Matte Bronzer and um, I am loving this. It is one of my favorite things. So I guess I really don't regret this purchase as much as it was just so weird. But um, I could have just bought this separately for probably the same price <laughs> as all these other things. But there's some other stuff in here that I liked as well. But this bronzer is just gorgeous. It's a little darker than the Hula that I was talking about before. Um, so it's a little more dramatic to contour with. Um, I'm using it today. I don't think it's very dramatic today or anything. But um, it smells amazing. It smells like chocolate. And um, I just really like this. So if I guess if I had to buy this whole thing for a deluxe sample size of that, I guess it was worth it. But I didn't have to buy it like that. I'm just a crazy lady. This I was impressed with. This is the Cool Lids um, Cream Eyeshadow by Laura Geller. And... Um, it's in the shade Rose Gold Goddess, and you can kind of see right there, there's a picture of it. Um, I hope you can see. And um, it was really uh, pretty, and it, it made it, it was nice for when I want something really quick, just like a little bit of shadow on my eye or whatever. And um, it's a, just an interesting color, and I actually really did like it. It had a cooling sensation, which was a little weird at first, but once you're used to it, it wasn't bad at all. And, um, and I just... I was impressed with that product. I would probably, I really considered buying another one of these in a different shade. I just haven't yet. And I might still though. There's also, did I mention a little baby professional in here, which I'm also always for. I think I had another one in that other thing. And I use that every day. So as much of it as I can get in a set or for free, whatever, what have you, I will use it. Here were my summer glam essentials. <laughs> and, um, it was kind of cool to try that out. Um, like I said, that was the weirdest thing I purchased. All the rest of the stuff makes perfect sense to me. <laughs> that one, not so much. Okay, so um, I had um, got a quick elf order I'll throw in here. I really just needed some new brushes because I'm so lazy and I don't want to wash mine and they just really need it. So a lot of times I buy new ones instead of, <laughs> of washing mine. Um, <laughs> that's weird but whatever and um so I have just some elf brushes that I picked up their eyeshadow C brushes see I've been using these a little um are really great and just easy to use and this one I think I need to spend like an odd number amount and this was a dollar or something it's a blending brush because I just need another brush and these are just brushes and they're just boring and um I also picked up a baked blush um from their studio collection I love these. They're not bad at all. Um, they're pretty decent blushes, and this one's pretty. Let me just chuck that. And uh, it's called Pink Passion, and it's just a pink blush. But these are nice um, for three dollars. I mean, wow, can't beat it, right? So, I think that it was like spend thirteen and get free shipping, and I needed some elf brushes, so I just picked up a few things. So that was just that was that. So something I bought from beauty.com was um, the Lorac Back to Bronze collection. 
and I have loved almost everything in here. I finally got a chance to try it all, and so I'm going to let you know what's up with it. It came in this bag, which has been handy. I love bags. I love makeup bags. I don't care what they look like. As long as I can fit stuff in them and organize things with them, I'm for it. So, um, so this was another makeup bag. Another. I think I got like three or four with all this collectively or whatever. And in here was uh, the tantalizer baked bronzer. And um, I loved this. I, the only thing I did not love about this is that I have not even been able to close it all the way because um, I could not open it. It was the hardest thing in the world to open. I struggled and struggled and struggled with it. I gave it to my boyfriend. He fought with it um, for a while. And then we f I finally gave up and I was like, let me look this up, how to open. And I finally Googled it and other people were like, how in the world do you get open the deluxe size of this bronzer? It swings open, but I, I have not clamped it again because it was so ridiculously hard to get <laughs> open the first time. And, um, but it's just a shimmery, uh, bronzer. And so I haven't really used it to contour with. I've only used it, you know, as a bronzer, just like kind of on my cheeks, um, a couple times. And I really, really like it. It's just really, really pretty. Um, so I am definitely a fan of that. Ah, oh, I just closed it. <laughs> Fail. Total epic fail. Look at me. I just closed that. Anyway, so told you. <laughs> End of story. I'll have to get my boyfriend to struggle with that again. He's going to be so mad. Um, anyway, um, so uh, there was a few other products in this set. Um, there was another. Um, I had already bought the other Alter Ego Cream Lipstick and Supermodel. And there was one in Girl Next Door, which is a really pretty pink color. It's pretty similar to what I had, but this was the color that came with this set. The Alter Ego Lipstick. Um, and I just love these cream lipsticks. They are great. So um, I, I definitely was into picking that up. And I, when I saw this um, on their side, I was definitely interested. Um, it is a double-ended liquid liner. Um, black cherry on this end, copper luster on this end, and um, I really like the copper end. I have such a hard time with liquid liners, if I'm being honest. <clears throat> I struggle, struggle, struggle with them. So, um, I haven't used this much because it's kind of a disaster <laughs> every time I try, but it is really, really pretty. Um, I just haven't gotten much use out of it, but I did like it. Um, also in there was a gloss in the shade Peach Luster. Now, normally I don't get that excited about lip gloss. I, you know, I've talked about some other lip glosses that I had. This is one that I am actually excited about. Um, it had a beautiful shimmer. It was not sticky. It tasted great. It smelled great. Um, the, there was nothing but positives about it. And like I said, it takes kind of a lot for a lip gloss to really stick out for me and like make me take note and be like, wow, I really like that lip gloss. Cause to me, a lot of lip gloss is just lip gloss. It's hard to make it better, but whatever they put in this, they did a good job because it is a good lip gloss. I will tell you that. So two thumbs up for me on that. And also in that set, and I just tried this for the first time, um, in the last couple days because I wanted to be able to review as much as I could, um, in this haul. And Wow, this is the Cobra Mascara from Lorac. Here's the packaging. It's simple. There's a full size of that in there. And look at the shape of it. It's It looks like a cobra. <laughs> like a snake. Anyway, um, so I guess that's what it comes from. But I was like, what? When I first saw this, I'm like, what is the point? But it just really is really great at grabbing all the lashes. And I just think it made them look really long. It also had kept... a my curl to my lash, which I really, really like. Um, <clears throat> so to me, it had a similar effect to their reel from benefit, but it did not bother my eyes. And when I looked up, um, you know, what the, I kind of looked up what the point was to the shape of the brush, like how do you use this? What's, what are you supposed to do with it? And, um, and this is actually f marketed towards people with sensitive eyes and a lot of mascaras really bother my eyes. So, um, it was, I really, really like this. My first impression yesterday when I wore it, I guess, yeah, yesterday was the first time I tried it. <clears throat> I 
I loved it. It wore really great. It did not smudge. It stayed put. It was pretty much waterproof. And in the, at the end of the day, it was super easy to remove. Way easier to remove than their real. I think I may have found the one as far as mascaras go. And that also takes a lot for me to say. So also from beauty.com, I, like I said, I got fully into the rock, um, thing here and, um, I picked up I wanted to get the Pro Palette, but I think it was sold out, so um, I, wind, I wound up getting uh, the Pro Pocket Palette just to kind of sample the Pro Shadows and see what all the fuss was about. And wow, I really, really, really like these, especially this nude color. I wear it constantly um, when I don't have a lot of time. It just gives a great little shimmer and little bit of color to my um, eyelids and just adds a little something extra. So I picked that up. I also got... Um, the Too Faced uh, Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush in the shade um, Candy Glow. And I have loved this. This is like the perfect pink. And there's a little bit of peach in there too, which I'm really into right now. So there's that. Also from beauty.com, I picked up <coughs> something I'd had my eye on for a while and to try out. And I really, really love this formula. This, um, it is the Urban Decay Nail Polish, and I just wanted to pick this up, to be honest, because I love the packaging. I love Urban Decay. I wanted to try it. I love all nail polishes, pretty much. So um, I was like, let me just give their nail polish a shot. Wow, this stuff is really long wearing, and it is like a very interesting color. It has like red flecks. It's Black Heart is the name of the, um, the color, and it has like red flecks on top of like a slate gray, which is really, really pretty, and I love it. Also, I picked up from beauty.com um, another Too Faced product, um, and this is and that's the matte eye palette. Um, I am always trying to find good matte eyeshadows. Always, it's like my quest of life, and this definitely is a winner. Um, I really, really love these. There's not a lot of colors in here, but um, the colors that are in here are just beautiful. This purple row on the bottom was like enough for me to want to get the whole, the whole thing. Um, but I have really loved, I love this formula. It's really blendable. I, after trying this, I was really, really, um, sold on Too Faced products. Like love, love. I want the, um, chocolate bar palette now. Um, but whatever. Okay, my favorite thing I think that I bought this, well, no, no, I can't say that, um, for sure. But one of my top three favorite things, um, was from Bergdorf Goodman, and that's really random for me. I'm not usually that fancy of a, of a girl to go uh, shop at Bergdorf Goodman or anything like that, but um, I got a gift card for 25 bucks from Glossy Box when Bergdorf Goodman was like the sponsor of Glossy Box um, June Box? No, May Box. I think it was the May Box. Anyway, there was a gift card for them. Um, for for the uh, for you could use it on the side or in the store or whatever. Well, there's not a store near me like that, so I definitely had to order online. Anyway, I'm gonna pick myself up something pretty. So I went looking and I was like, I've been really expanding my blush collection. You'll see there's a lot of blush in this haul, and um, so I went to go look at blushes, and I I was having a hard time finding anything that I really really liked, and you know I was trying not to have to spend too much extra out of pocket. Um, above the $25 gift card. So um, that made it a little difficult. And uh, But I saw that they had the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes. Okay, I've been seeing those everywhere. I've been seeing the Ambient Lighting Palette. That's a little advanced for me, the palette, because I'm not, I don't highlight a lot and I just feel like I don't know what to do with that. I would definitely have to do some more research before I got that, but it's something I would consider because I did end up picking up one of the ambient lighting blushes. That was the box for it. This was the blush and it has that um, ambient lighting powder swirled in and it's just gorgeous. And then it's like a peachy color. I'm wearing it today. Um, I just, I really, really like it. Uh, I like, it gives like a nice glow, I feel like. But it's something that I've constantly reached for. Anyway, it was $35 and with the gift card. So I only paid like uh, with tax, like 12 bucks out of pocket for this. So I was really, really happy that that was included as part of my glossy box that month. And I was really happy that I wound up picking out this one because I've just really, really gotten a lot of use out of it. <clears throat> 
Okay, something else that's like in my top products that I uh, picked up recently is the Lorac Pro Palette 2. It is just awesome, and um, it comes with the primer. Their primer is great, um, and then it comes with a beautiful palette. I'm sure you've all seen it, so I'm not going to get too into it or swatch it too much. Um, but, oh, I just, I'm in love. Eight mattes, eight shimmers. It's just wonderful. I am very happy with this purchase. And I redeemed a lot of Ulta points that I got through buying all the rest of this stuff um, on this palette. So I got it for a great price. And um, I also picked up from Ulta again um, some more NYX products. Like I said, I picked up some more of the soft matte lip creams in Amsterdam and Buenos Aires. Um, whoops, sorry. But yeah, they're all named after cities. <clears throat> I love those. They're really great. And um, I'm sorry, I'm like totally losing my voice. And I really apologize for that. Um, and then I got a Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which I see this in tutorials all the time. And it looks so awesome. And it is so awesome. It definitely lives up to, you know, I see why everyone uses it. It is that perfect white I've been searching for. And so here it is. And then I also got Strawberry Milk, which is a pink color. And also from NYX, I got a baked blush, um, and this shade is Wanderlust, and it's another peachy tone. After I picked up that um, Hourglass blush, I was all about the peach blushes. Speaking of which, I ran into Walgreens a couple days ago. Now, after the 4th of July, everybody had the 4th of July sales. I bought a lot of stuff and I said, okay, I'm done for the month. And I really have been. I've been really good for, I don't know, a few weeks. So that's pretty good for me. And I haven't ordered anything else. But I did step into Walgreens the other day and then I saw their Milani section. And I was like, whoopsie. Um, because I've been really wanting to try some of that stuff. And here's another peachy type blush, Luminoso from Milani. And it is very similar to um, the Hourglass blush. So if that's something that you're interested in, but don't want to pay 35 bucks for a blush, I think this one was eight something at Walgreens. Anyway, it's gorgeous. I haven't got a lot of time to play with it. So I don't know how close it is to the Hourglass blush, but it looks pretty similar to me. <clears throat> I also got um, this Milani Color Statement Lipstick in the color Chilled Brandy. And I don't have, and I was looking at their lipsticks. I've been wanting to try one, and I have, don't have anything like this in my collection. So that's why I went with this color. Just something different. And, um, and I do like it. What else do I have? Fourth of July, uh, Zoya, my favorite nail polish brand, did a sale, and I picked up their, um, this one's called Star Spangled Trio, and it's cream, um, cream, red, white, and blue, and I didn't have as much, as many Zoya polishes as I have, I didn't have anything like these in my collection, so I think I picked these up for 15 bucks, um, no shipping, so that wasn't a bad deal, five bucks a pop for Zoya is not bad. Um, I also got uh, beauty.com was having a free gift um, with a, just a $10 purchase. It was really uh, cool. A deluxe sample of the Melted Lipstick in Melted Peony. And I got that um, with this order because I had also uh, picked these up because I wanted to redeem. Um, they have like they have a reward system too, like every quarter or however much you spend, you get dollars back or something. I don't know. I had like six bucks off from everything else that I purchased. So, um, I took a little discount and got that little free gift and got myself a couple of Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencils, full size, um, because I have a lot of travel size of these in Perversion and Whiskey. Just some nice matte liners. These are my favorite liners and I'll always reach for them. So, I picked up a couple more. Well, I had a little discount and a really cool free gift that I wanted to pick up. So and that was something I really needed. Finally, um, I picked up a couple, for the first time, I picked up a couple of IT Cosmetics products. And I really, really want to talk about this because it is uh, my new, f this would probably be my third favorite thing. So if I had a rank, I'd say the Lorac Pro, Pro Palette 2, the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Blush, and then this IT Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe No Tug Eyeshadow Brush. Um, 
this would be my number three product or maybe even my number two because I'm constantly reaching for this constantly, constantly since I bought it. This is the perfect brush. It does, it lives up to his name. It doesn't tug um, on your eyes at all. It really, you can do everything with it. You can apply the color, you can blend it out. And what I love most is that it just, it, it picks up every, it picks up the pigment really well puts it exactly where it's supposed to be on your eyes and then like you could take it and wipe it across the tissue and you won't see anything on this brush it's completely clean so you can use it for like multiple colors when you're doing a look this down this end right here is perfect for, for, for precision I have aligned with it um, and this it you can blend with it you can put the color on <clears throat> excuse me it is just amazing I will probably get another one of these but this one is holding up great it is not shedding um I haven't like cleaned it cleaned it because I haven't had it for that long so I don't know how it's gonna wash hopefully it washes well but um I will um I like I said it stays clean as far as colors go I really need to you know, wash it for you know sanitary reasons but um it is just a really really great brush I would totally recommend it to anyone. Um, and then finally, <clears throat> from them, I also got this blush. Like I said, I've really expanded my blush collection. This is kind of like unlike any of my other colors, and it's Radiant in Rose from It Cosmetics. And this is their Vitality Cheek Flush, and I think it's like a stain. Yeah, anti-aging powder blush stain. So I don't know what it, it does last a long time. I don't know. It's kind of odd for me that it's a stain. It is a powder blush, but um, with that, I got a couple of things to try. Oh, their um, gloss was also really great. Um, I think I posted something about it on Instagram. I really liked the formula, but the color, it was not what I was expecting. Um, I had mentioned on there that um, <clears throat> I was perplexed because it's very neutral in the tube. It's like a very neutral color but it's more like the color of the lid when you put it on it's like a bright color but um but it actually was a nice gloss it had a nice lightweight feel to it and it was it was nice and it was free so hey and um, also their under eye full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer um, I haven't tried this yet because I don't know about the color I was maybe gonna keep it wrapped up and give it away because it's medium and I'm like the lightest person on the earth so maybe not but you know I'm pretty white so um, I'm pretty pale so I haven't really wanted to try that as an under eye concealer if it's not bright enough so I think that that's pretty much everything there this was really long and I apologize if it's too long but, oh, from beauty.com also got a whole bag of samples of, like, uh, there's, like, Urban Decay and NARS in here and Origins and um, Juice Beauty, just all kinds of stuff. That was with one of these orders somewhere along the way. Anyway, I get as much, um, as many freebies as I can. Um, I try to. I try to get deals and freebies and all that stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this haul. Um... I enjoyed making it, and uh, I hope everyone takes care and, you know, give this video the thumbs up. Uh, leave me a comment if you like any of this stuff, um, if your opinion's on it. Um, I always want to talk to other people about um, makeup products. And everyone, make sure you take care and have a good day.